Hi guys, and welcome to part 31 of Skyrim Mod Sanctuary. So, we've got the 1.6 patch for Skyrim now, and of course that means we've all got mounted combat. And so I thought I'd start this episode with a few horse-related mods. Now the first mod I'm going to show you is called Convenient Horses. And this adds a lot of new functionality that is really great if you spend a lot of time on your horse, or... Um, the horse is generally annoying you. It's also great if you have a lot of followers. So if you have the UFO mod, for example, and have lots of followers, and you want them to all ride with you as well. Um, and one of the major things it adds is a horn that you can buy from any stables, the same place you would buy a horse. Um, and you can buy this horn. And once you have this horn, it gives you a power horse call. And when you activate the horse call, you get this... Seen here, he blows the horn, and you end up, after a few seconds, mounted on your horse. There you go. So it doesn't matter where your horse is, he will come running and basically find you. So no more spending half an hour running around, desperately trying to find the horse, wherever it ran away. Now, there are a lot of other options as well. If you go along to the powers, you will also have a convenient horse's power. And if you activate that, you get this basically a control menu. And so you can change the faction relations if you want. I'm going to leave them. I like the fact that nobody attacks my horse. But for example, control settings. If you are using SKSE, it will detect it and it will allow you to bind keys to different functions. Uh, which is very nice. So I'm going to leave it as bound key. There is also the option to double tap, so you can use the activation key. If you're not using SKSE, you can use the activation key, but you just have to single tap, double tap, triple, etc. on your horse to get the different functions working. Uh, it's not a problem, and in fact some people who are using SKSE may even prefer that, because um, basically then you don't have to bind any keys. Um, so, let's look first of all at the custom key bindings. You can set a key for talking, so I'll do that. Harvesting, dismounting, the inventory, and even a follow key. So if I now exit that, if I press the follow key, I get this little scene, and basically now the horse will follow if I go running off. It doesn't always follow immediately, Sometimes it waits a while before it follows. There you go. I finally got far enough away and the horse comes running. Um, so basically this will mean the horse is always, always relatively close, even if you're running around fighting people. And if you press the same key again, it tells the horse to wait and he will wait exactly where he is and he will not move. Which is great. Now... There are, as I said, there were other keys as well. If I go up to the horse and press the inventory key, I now can actually store things on my horse. Very useful if you've got a lot of things and you basically want to use him as a pack horse. Now, because you've set these keys, you can also, for example, go up to things like your followers and hit the talk key here. and start talking to your follower even though you are on horseback. Very useful indeed. This There's also a key for harvesting, which means you don't have to get off your horse to harvest. Brilliant. And one of my favourite functions, fast dismount. You set that key, fast dismount. So, if you watch that again, so much faster than the default. And if you're in combat, if you've got your weapon drawn, you will still have your weapon drawn when you jump off. Very useful indeed. Now, there is also options to give your followers horses, which is um, very nice. I mean, you go along to the ho convenient horse's power and activate it. Followers horses. There we go. Turn it on. Ignore combat on. That's uh, The horses will ignore combat. And you can even change the horse skin, so different followers have different color horses, which is very nice. So now, if I climb on my horse, you'll notice all the followers also blow a horn. And now they've got horses. Now, 
So I dismount from my horse, and all my followers follow suit. Now, currently I'm having one or two small issues with a lot of followers. That when I dismount, my followers do get a bit... Um, well, sometimes they get a bit funky and get back on and off the horse, even though I've off the horse, as you can see. Not all of them, and not always. But they don't exactly follow me when I go running miles away. One of them has, and then the other one just hasn't quite got round to it. So, sometimes it's actually worth just turning the followers' horses off when you've done with them. <laughs> However, notice they do keep falling over when you do that. Now, this mod actually has a lot of options as well. I have not even explored half of them. Um, but I can open up the options menu and change, for example, stamina bonus, invulnerability off, etc. I can change all of these things. I can go to the miscellaneous, turn the load messages off. Um, oh, you get horse charge. This means if you're in combat and you sprint... Um, I believe you can knock people over. Now, I'm using the UFO mod, the Ultimate Follower Overhaul mod. And for me to turn on the convenient horses, I have to go along to Only one of the stables. And do you know, and I've heard of more convenient horses, so keep our old ones for now. And this basically switches everything to use convenient horses. So all round, this is one of those mods that's probably going to stay in my load order, especially with so many followers. It's really nice to have horses for them all, and it's even nicer to not have your horse running in to combat all the time, or running away, and then you have to spend an hour and a half finding him. So, can highly recommend this mod. Now, if all of that's a little too much for you, and you didn't quite need all that, there is another mod called... Oblivious horses, and it essentially makes the horses do absolutely nothing. If they're attacked, they'll walk away a little bit, but they will not join in the attack. They will not start helping you um, fight. So if you get into a fight, your horse is not going to act like another follower. It's a lot simpler mod, obviously, um, and it just gets rid of the annoying problem where your horse keeps jumping in the fight and uh, annoying you very often getting itself killed because you're hitting things with a fireball, for example. Now, in last week's video, I covered a mod that summoned a nice ghost horse for you to ride. And if you liked this, you may well like the next mod. The next mod basically allows you to summon a horde of them. Now, you can buy this spell from the Orc Librarian. And it's uh, a book called The Spirit of the Horde. And once you get this book, if you read it, you get the option to learn this spell. Now, it's an expensive book. It costs way over two and a half thousand gold. So it's, uh, it's as expensive as two and a half horses. Now, basically, you cast the spell and it summons one spectral horse. And if I cast it again, it summons the rest. And when I mount the horse, my, right, my followers should, if you're using a mod that allows you, they should eventually climb on. Now, these spectral horses are not as fast as the ones I reviewed from last week. They're far more like normal horses, sprint like normal horses, etc. You can change the speed, though. Um, within the options, along with a number of other things. Now, as I mentioned, you can actually pick from several different visual effects, from Ghost, Ethereal, Nightingale, Dark night Nightingale, Black Spirit, and so on. And if you want, you can even have the effect on yourself. Uh, although it doesn't seem to work on the followers, but that just makes you feel special. And once you're done with the horses, you simply cast the spell again, and they all disappear. Sometimes dropping your followers onto the ground, but I can live with that. Now, one of the things a lot of us were hoping for when we heard about mounting combat was uh, mounted casting as well. Um, but unfortunately, you can't do it. So the next mod 
it definitely goes towards fixing that. Now it, it does allow casting, but it's not perfect. It uses SKSE and it assigns the key V and B to cast your left and right hand. So if I tap the V button, I've got to be in combat mode. And I tap the V button, I've just cast the spell, an armor spell on myself. I'll do it again. You don't get any animation, but the spell is cast. Um, and if I pick a spell, for example, Firebolt for my right hand, and then cast it. As you can see, it fires it forward and, oddly enough, straight up. So there are some issues, definitely some issues. However, um, you know, if you, if you want to be doing healing... So you can heal yourself, cast armor on yourself, all while in combat. So, you know, if, you, if you're busy in combat and you want to do some armor and some, some uh, healing, this is a very useful little uh, mod. As I said, it's not perfect. There are some small issues. But, so saying, I can, of course, summon followers. There you go. Which is very useful if you are a mounted mage. So you can summon creatures to defend you, heal yourself, and so on. All round, a very, very useful mod. I'm hoping it gets improved a bit. I'm hoping you can aim spells uh, rather than, ju than just flying forward. However, basically for me now, now that I do a lot of riding, this is going to be essential. Now, installing convenient horses is pretty easy. Um, again, files, click download with the manager. Once it's downloaded, you select it in the Nexus Mod Manager and hit the Activate button, as you can see I've done. However, if you're going to deactivate this mod at a later date, it's not quite as simple as most mods. Before you deactivate this mod, what you should do is start your game load the save that you're currently playing, uh, press the tilde key to get to the console. Now, it's the tilde key on American keyboards, I believe. On international keyboards, it won't be that. But whatever the keyboard is, the key for console is almost always the key to the left of the one key. So you press that, it should bring up your console, type in stop quest, all one word, stop quest, space, CH. Um, the C and H are capitalized in the instructions. I'm not totally sure if that is necessary, but might as well do it. Press enter. Press the same key as you press to activate the console to get rid of the console and save your game. That's very important. Save your game. That is now a clean save. Then you can exit the game, go back to Nexus Mod Manager and deactivate. Now you can deactivate it. Um, and then when you go back in game, everything will be fine. That is purely and simply to make sure all of the scripts for convenient horses have been uninstalled. Now, Oblivious Horses is a single file. Download with Manager and activate. And there are some optional files if you want to change a few things. It's up to you. I'm sure you can figure that out looking at the instructions. This is not a difficult mod to install. Now for the Spectral Horde Summon Spectral Horses for you and your followers mod. Um, he's It's a very new mod um, and it's getting updated fairly often. Uh, download with Manager for the main version. There is now a version that has compatibility for AFT instead of UFO. Check this one, see which mods you're using. I am, this one looks to me like a mod that will change a few times in the near future. So, But again, download with Manager and activate. Pretty simple. And the mounted casting. Just down, single file, download with Manager and activate. No problems whatsoever with this. And uh, because the 1.6 patch has just come out and a big part of it is horses, I'm expecting that these type of mods will probably get tweaked and updated. And the Spectral Horde and the Mounted Casting are fairly new mods, so they probably, they're prime candidates to get updated fairly frequently at the moment. So well worth checking the Nexus page 
check the release notes and see if it's worth updating. Oh, and a quick note on that. Um, I know a lot of people have been talking about um, updates and, uh, and asking whether it's possible to have an auto update function for Nexus Mod Manager. Um, I just want to say that I'm very much against that. I think auto update is a terrible, terrible idea. Your data folder is your data folder. You should decide when it gets updated and if it gets updated. There are some problems with updating mods that you might have to do a clean save. Uh, perhaps um, the mod author recommends only updating if it's a, if you're starting a new game, etc. You may even find the latest version is not something you want. I'm still using a very early um, version of Categorized Favorites because I happen to like it. Um, take control of your your data folder. Take control of the mods you've installed and you decide when they update. It's a little bit of extra work, but it's well worth doing. Check the update notes. Do not do not just look in Nexus Mod Manager, see a, an exclamation mark and automatically update. Check the notes. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> don't want to nag you, but that's my advice. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope it was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're enjoying the 1.6 patch and mounted combat. I want to again thank all the people for submitting screenshots. They're still brilliant. A few people have asked how they can submit them. Uh, if you go along to the Skyrim Mod Sanctuary page on Nexus, you can post your images there um, and I will again look through them and post the ones I think uh, I really like. Uh, please try to post only a few each week, three or four maybe. Uh, if you post 30 or 40, I will never be able to put them up. Um, and I'd like to put screenshots up from different people. So anyway, keep them coming. Definitely appreciate it. If for some reason there are enough questions to warrant an encore video, I will link to it about here um, and you can check that out. Oh, and don't forget to click the like button on this video. I always appreciate that. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. And until then, as always, have fun.